But Energy House 2 has now got all its funding in place, so we'll be looking to start the build very shortly. Um, it's a, a big extension from what we've been doing previously with the Salford Energy House. It's uh, a £16 million project where we'll be building two greenfield chambers where people can come and build what they like and, and test it and we're there to help them do that. And we've been working you know, really hard with Greater Manchester looking at improving the eco-innovation infrastructure in Greater Manchester. So when we consider if we want to test a piece of uh, technology, um, particularly in the domestic sector, it can take you a couple of years. What we'll be looking at is um, compressing that te testing time so that new products can get to the market much, much quicker. We've been working with business for a long time, so the original Energy House project um, was really looking at focusing uh, on small businesses and helping them get product to market. This is really an extension of that. We're really going to focus on domestic mainly, so you know, which is not a small market. There's 27 million homes in the UK. But where I'm standing here now is in our smart meters laboratory. We're also thinking about not just energy efficiency, but smart homes products, smart home services, so software as well. So that's slightly different from the old project with Salford Energy House, where we started with insulation and, and controls and systems into. Um, wider digital services that are going to reflect the way that we consume energy. We'll be supporting you know, GM businesses, Northwest businesses, UK businesses, but what we really want to be doing is looking at international markets. Rather than just thinking about the UK market, we can have UK businesses thinking about the global market.